Our Earth is a beautiful place, and we're curious to learn everything about it. And this time, we discovered something terrifying around our solar system. So let's find out about the terrifying thing discovered. Here we begin. Firstly, what is Heliopause? The Heliopause is a spherical region around the Sun that's filled with solar magnetic fields and the outward moving solar wind of protons and electrons. The heliosheath is a transition region closer to the Sun than the Heliopause, where the solar wind slows to subsonic speeds. That is slower than the speed at which disturbances usually travel through the interstellar medium. The Heliopause is located approximately 123 astronomical units from the Sun. The Heliopause's shape varies and is influenced by an interstellar gas wind caused by the Sun's motion through space. All major planets' orbits, including Earth's, are well within the Heliopause. Voyager 1 and 2 were the only spacecraft to cross the Heliopause, launched in 1977 and arriving in 2012 and 2018 respectively. The Voyagers discovered the location of the Heliopause by observing an increase in galactic cosmic ray particles and a decrease in solar wind particles after passing through the boundary. About Voyager 1 and 2 In 1977, the Voyager 1 and 2 spacecraft were launched from Earth. Voyager 1 was introduced on September 5, 1977 and completed flybys of Jupiter and Saturn. The spacecraft is now rising above the ecliptic plane, the plane in which most planets orbit the Sun at an angle of about 35 degrees per year, at a rate of about 520 million kilometers, or about 320 million miles. Voyager 2 was introduced on August 20, 1977, and visited Jupiter and Saturn before moving on to Uranus and Neptune, completing their reconnaissance of the giant outer planets. The spacecraft is now descending beneath the ecliptic plane at a rate of about 470 million kilometers or 290 million miles per year. Their mission was to explore Jupiter and Saturn, as well as the planets beyond our solar system. This was a major undertaking. No human-made object had ever attempted such a journey before. The two spacecraft captured thousands of images of Jupiter, Saturn, and their moons. In addition, we could see many things for the first time thanks to the images from Voyager 1 and 2. These spacecraft have continued to move away from us since then. The Voyager 1 and 2 spacecraft are now so far apart that they are in interstellar space, the region between the stars. No other spacecraft has ever traveled this far. What will happen to Voyager next? Both spacecraft are still transmitting data to Earth. This information will aid our understanding of different solar systems and interstellar space conditions. The Voyagers have enough power and fuel to last until at least 2025. They'll be unable to communicate with Earth for some time after this. Unless something stops them, they will continue traveling for thousands of years, passing other stars. And this time, they discovered something terrifying on the edge of our solar system. NASA is getting scurry messages from interstellar space. The Voyager 1 spacecraft is returning strange data from interstellar space, which has NASA engineers scratching their heads. According to NASA Jet Propulsion Laboratory officials, readouts on the orientation of the 1970s aerospace probe now appear to be randomly generated or do not reflect any possible scenario the spacecraft could be in. The problematic data come from the Attitude Articulation and Control System, or AACS, which is onboard equipment that measures reports and changes the vehicle's position in space. The system maintains an antenna pointed at Earth, allowing it to send data back home. The new bizarre situation calls the long duration mission's future into question. However, given that Voyager 1 continues to return data from its science instruments, all indications point to the controls still being operational, even if the data doesn't make sense, according to the US Space Agency. Otherwise, it appears to be operating normally. Both Voyagers 1 and 2 are nearly 45 years old, far exceeding their original life expectancy. She claims that because interstellar space is a high radiation environment in which no spacecraft has ever flown, surprises are almost inevitable. The disturbing signals indicate that Voyagers discovered a bizarre and terrifying region at the edge of the solar system. NASA's Voyager 1 spacecraft recently entered a strange new region at the solar system's boundary that has physicists baffled, despite simply being the man-made object to travel the farthest from Earth. Nothing like it is predicted by their theories. Voyager 1 and its twin Voyager 2 were launched 36 years ago and completed an unprecedented tour of the outer planets giving spectacular data. The first Voyager spacecraft accelerated out of the solar system in 1980 and has been edging closer to interstellar space. 
Currently, the probe is over 120 times the distance between the Earth and the Sun. Initially, scientists predicted that Voyager's transition into this new realm where effects from the rest of the galaxy become more pronounced, which would be gradual and uninteresting. However, it was proven far more complicated than researchers had anticipated. With the spacecraft now encountering a strange region, the scientists struggle to understand. The models that were thought to predict what should happen are all incorrect, said Johns Hopkins University Applied Physics Laboratory physicist Stamatios Kramigis, lead author of one of three new Voyager papers published in Science on June 27. At this point, we essentially have no reliable roadmap of what to expect. The Sun generates a plasma of charged particles known as the solar wind, which is blown supersonically from its atmosphere at speeds exceeding 1 million kilometers per hour. Some of these ions are thrown outward at up to 10% of the speed of light. The solar magnetic field is also carried by these particles. The wind is thought to eventually collide with the interstellar medium, which contains a completely different flow of particles emitted by massive star explosions. The extremely energetic ions produced by these bursts are popularly known as galactic cosmic rays and are largely prevented from entering the solar system by the solar wind. The galaxy also has its magnetic field, which is thought to be at an angle to the field of the Sun. Voyager 1 in 2003 entered the edge of the solar wind when its instruments indicated that particles around it were moving subsonically, having slowed down after traveling far from the Sun. Then about a year ago, the probe went completely silent. The solar wind indicated by Voyager 1's instruments suddenly dropped by a factor of 1,000, making it virtually undetectable. The transition was extremely quick, taking only a few days. At the same time, measurements of galactic cosmic rays increased significantly, which is exactly what we would expect if we were outside the solar wind, according to Caltech physicist Ed Stone, Voyager's project scientist and lead author of one of the science papers. It appeared that Voyager 1 had left the Sun's influence. So, what's the issue? If the solar wind had vanished completely, galactic cosmic rays should have been pouring in from all directions. Instead, Voyager discovered them coming from only one direction. Furthermore, despite the absence of solar particles, the probe has not detected any significant change in the magnetic field surrounding it. This is difficult to explain because the galaxy's magnetic field is thought to be 60 degrees inclined from the Sun's field. Nobody knows exactly what's going on. It's a huge surprise, said Boston University astronomer Marav Ofer, who is not involved in the research. While the new findings are intriguing, they're likely to spark lengthy debate among theorists, she added. We've touched the intergalactic medium in some ways, Ofer explained, but we're still inside the sun's house. Extending this analogy is almost as if Voyager thought it was going outside but ended up in the foyer of the sun's home, with an open door allowing wind from the galaxy to blow in. Scientists not only did not expect this foyer to exist, but also had no idea how long the probe would remain inside. Stone speculated that the probe might take months or years to reach interstellar space. However, it could happen at any time, he added. There isn't a model to tell us that. Even then, according to Stone, Voyager would not have left the solar system, but rather the region where the solar wind dominates. Kramigis, for one, refused to speculate on what Voyager might encounter next because theorists' models have so far failed miserably. I believe nature is far more imaginative than we are, he said. What do you think of the terrifying thing discovered by Voyagers? Comment below and subscribe for more.